Hi, Pisces. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you are doing really, really well. This reading is for any sun, moon, or rising. We'll take a look at the cards. We'll get a sense of the awareness for the week, guidance, and possible outcomes. I'll also choose a couple of oracle cards for additional information as well. So let's go ahead and see what we have for you. Okay, so Taurus, we have, in terms of your awareness or the big ideas for the week, we have the Ace of Swords and the Lovers, Major Arcana. And the Ace of Swords is about the universe's way of providing you with an opportunity, a gift or a blessing. And this particular blessing has to do with your smarts. It has to do with you using the sharpness of this, bla of this blade to think of new ideas, new opportunities, new approaches, perhaps new ways of thinking. Maybe you have uh, an idea, an invention that you want to move forward. Maybe you want to change your ways of how you save money or spend money. Maybe you are thinking of new ways in order to create relationships and you're investigating online dating versus, uh, you know, uh, a matchmaking service. So we look to the Ace of Swords to guide us intelligently, to be informed, to be clear in how we communicate. Clarity. All of these things come as a result of being smart and being reasonable. So with the lovers here, maybe we need to apply our thinking in terms of an important relationship. The lovers goes to the significant relationships that we have, uh, where you feel passion, desire, um, joy. When in a relationship, you get to know someone and over time, you have to make maybe decisions based on the values that you each share. Are you in alignment? Is this something that could lead to marriage or engagement? Perhaps you're in a marriage and you're working on the relationship. You're working on developing more intimacy and trust or rekindling passion. So this week it's using your head in order to make the best of relationships. And again, this could be platonic relationships, they're significant relationships. So the awareness of the week is thinking about your relationships. So in terms of awareness for the week, we have the devil, major arcana, and we have the nine of cups. So the devil, the devil makes a really a mockery of the lovers. They're chained here. They're under the command of the devil. He's got them. He's got them. And it, you know, the devil brings out the behaviors that don't help us. The things that we do to maybe crush our own progress that get us into a place where we're not living our best self. So the devil, whether it is excessive drinking, fooling around, um, materialism, spending too much money, negative behaviors. Uh, you know, there's a whole host of things that we do to sabotage ourselves. And so it's a matter of taking note that sometimes the temptations and the desires feel good and we want to do them because it feels good and we'll deal with the consequences later. Well, this devil right next to the lovers could suggest that some behavior is threat going to threaten their relationship. And whether it's a third party, whether it's lying, whether it's deception or some other, you know, something, something that, that can get in the way of success has to be tended to. It takes really the first step of acknowledging that, oh, this is, I have a problem here. I need to limit this behavior or I need to ease it out of my life. So how do we do that? You have to be, number one, you have to be open to changing and you have to take the first step. So I feel that if you can take the first step, if you are smart in your approach to your relationships, to your life in general, 
into what you want to accomplish. Here's the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups, the finely dressed man, sits here below his Nine Cups. He's happy, he's smiling, he's enjoying the comfort of what he's created and what he's built and maybe what he's sacrificed or worked hard for. So there is the potential here for happiness and for delight and for feeling content. This has to be aware and has to be dealt with. The relationships are important and the thinking is important too. I would be remiss without saying that the Nine of Cups is a card of wish fulfillment. So make a wish, set your intention. Favor, the odds are in your favor. So in terms of possible outcomes, we have the Hermit, Major Arcana, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So the Hermit is uh, for the, it's the suggestion or the recommendation to you to take time for yourself, to make time for yourself, to remove yourself from the busyness of life. Here's our hermit. He's on top of the mountain. He has his lantern. He has his um, stick or walking stick. And here's the shooting stars and the moon. And so it's the search for understanding within, diving deep, making space for yourself in order to do that. This week would be ideal for you to take some time away from obligations or commitments and to meditate or to reflect or maybe to talk to someone who you trust, uh, someone with experience, someone who could be helpful to you. And perhaps it's the introspection that's needed with respect to the devil, to actions that are limiting your progress. And then in terms of possible outcomes, we have the two of pentacles, and it's about the balance and the juggling of life. Again, with the busyness and the obligations, we're always doing this dance, whether it's uh, smooth sailing in the background or rough waters. We are balancing our time, our energy, our resources. Everything has to be in motion and be being kept up by our arms, by our own self, so that we don't drop one of the coins. It's exhausting. It's tiring. But it's a message for the week, which is to pay attention to the balance within your life. If you feel that one area of your life is too much, then try to repri you know, prioritize. Try to cut back. If you feel that you are spinning, your wheels are spinning out of control, take a step back. Again, the Ace of Swords, powerful card about thinking and about analysis. It's important to stay in balance. It's important to pay attention to everything that's going on. Again, you may feel very busy this week. You may feel you have a lot going on. How can I possibly create time for myself? This is important. This is a big card here with the Hermit and a major arcana. It's important for you to take some time to think about things, to be enlightened by your own thinking, particularly when we see the, dove, uh, the devil next to the lovers. So interesting cards. Let's see what we have in terms of of an affirmation for the week. Wondrous universe, walk in beauty. So the universe has a lot to offer and it's abundant and it's beautiful and there's a grand plan for everybody. And so it's listening to the messages and it's seeing the magic in the universe and seeing the potential relationships, ideas, careers, uh, family, everything of, it's a wondrous universe. It's a wondrous journey as well, I would add. And finally, let's get a card for love. Have patience. Love is patient and kind always. A wonderful message and particularly a wonderful message in light of when you're working things through, when you have limiting behaviors that may be impacting a loving relationship. Have patience. It takes time to resolve and to address things of that nature. 
I hope that you found something helpful here today with this reading. If you did, please subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video, share this video, comment below. I hope that you have a wonderful week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Bye-bye.